excited right now. My favorite of all time Christmas movie, A Christmas Story, is on CBS right now, 24 hours for the whole day. So, I'll be watching that. But anyway, I'm going to do an ex uh, essential video, a series of just essential um, products that I feel like you should have. I'm not going to lie, the majority of everything I say is going to be focused on that because that's what I majority have. But the first one is going to be essential brushes. I have a brush belt. Well, these are the brushes I have, including the MAC 182 and the MAC 316. I'm going to try to do everything under 10 minutes, so let's go. I'm going to tell you every brush I have, but not everything is essential for me, it is. I have the 187. 188, the 190, the 169, the 168, yeah, the 10, 129, the 109, 227. This is the 252, 219, 242, 212, 272, 275, 2, I don't remember, 213, 239, 228, how we got 16? Um, 231, 208, this is a benefit, high angle, 209, 222, 223, 217, 224. Let's begin. Face brushes, I don't see how you could go a day without a 182. You could buff it in, you could buff in product. When you're done with, when you're done, if those who use liquid, you could buff it in with your powder with this brush. I use this brush every day. There has yet to be one day that I did not use this brush. Um, all right. This 316 brush is, all right, it all depends. If you reapply lipstick or whatever, I don't think it's an essential if you're using it. For me, it's just like sometimes I reapply. If I do decide to wear lipstick that day, I do reapply. And this is easy to just take in your bag real fast. But it's not really an essential. But, you know, if you're looking for a lip brush, this will be good. So I'm going to do my essentials. My 187. I don't understand. You can use this with liquid. You can use this to buff in. I personally use it as an all over. Um, I use my 182 to apply my mineralized skin finish natural, but I buff it out with my 187. I love this brush. It's good for an airbrush look if you're using liquid. You can use it for blush, whatever. Um, I use, personally use my 188 as my highlight. So, Foundation 190. It's an essential if you use any cream foundations. I use mine personally for like concealer. <laughs> but um, or you could use it for moisturizer, putting moisturizer your primer on. All right. I used to use my 168 to contour, but I don't. And I used to use my 169 to contour, but I don't. <laughs> I used to use my 168 also for blush, but now I use, this is a staple, my 129, I use it for blush, 189, you cannot go wrong with your 189, this is my contour brush, okay, eyes, these two are staples, now, this is the 239, this is the 213, 213, you two words, world favors the 239 I favor the 213 I love them both I just love for some reason I love the 213 better but I love them both so for me you need both <laughs> 222 is good for your crease because I have a small crease because mine is a little chinky 217 you need I use my 224 all over Brandon and my highlight 217, love it for outer corner. Um, I can't. My 231, inner, tear duct, under eye. I use this to contour my, um, when I put concealer under my eyebrows. 219, I mean 212. This I use to, for my pink pot. This I use with my paint pots too or my pigments when I'm using them wet. 
and my 227 this blends out everything all the harsh lines so my essentials i'm sorry this feels like it went so fast my essential faces are i would say faces i would say because you can use these for all purposes buffer liquid you can use this this is to buff on your powder and buff everything out this is good for liquid foundation this is the 182 187 is good for liquid foundation blush all over blend whatever 129 good for blush 109 you two were loves it for liquid foundation i love it to contour so definitely stable 188 i use it as my highlight under you know over forehead chin nose um eyes i have a lot for the eyes um staples personally i feel like you get either of the two i recommend both but you can get either of the two 239 or 213 good for a shadow packing on color shading blending brushes i would say all three honestly 222, 224, 217. Amazing brushes. If I had to choose two, I would probably say 224 and 217. Um, not to say the other brushes that I have I don't recommend, but if you had to get some now, those would what I would recommend. Um, the 212 is good for um, contouring your eyebrows. Now you could still use your 219 to do under eye work. And smudging, I just personally prefer the 239, the 231, pardon. Now, this brush, the 242, you could use it to for concealer, you could use it for paint pots, you could use it for pigment. So, I su suggest both, but if I had to choose one, 242. 227, you could use it for your brow bone. I use it for all over blending, just so all your harsh lines, everything. You can even smudge another eye. So, those are my essential brushes. I mean, again, with MAC brushes, I'm not saying I don't suggest the holiday blush sets. I'm not saying I don't. Me, personally, if I'm going to buy, you might as well just take your time and buy the full-size brushes as opposed to buying something and then, you know, it sheds or whatever. Take your time. Buy them one by one. We all did. Some people buy two at a time. You know your situation and you know your budget, so... I personally suggest to buy one at a time. For fluid line, I suggest MAC. If you want to do MAC and you just want to keep your collection all MAC, I would suggest either the 208. I use this for my eyebrows if I'm not using my spike. Or the, the 109. Sorry, my 109 have been through some things. If you can see, it's still it's like plastic over it. It's, it got wet. Just put it like that. But for fluid line, you can use either of the two. I personally love my Benefit Hard Angle for fluid line, but that's just me. Um, so, those are my brushes. This is my 108, and it's my lip brushes. So, you know, buy your brushes one at a time. Don't rush. I would always say definitely get one blending brush, one shading brush, and... For face, get like an over or a blending brush and one brush for everything. Like this is good for contouring, this is good for liquid foundation. I wouldn't choose, if you're going to use it for liquid foundation, I, I wouldn't choose to say use the same brush to contour because it's dirty. So you'll be washing your brushes all day, every day. But just, just you know, my personal opinion of some brushes that you should get. Um, again, one at a time. Again, there's nothing wrong with the holiday sets. I just use it for travel. I wouldn't recommend it for everyday use. I personally use it for ch travel because they shed. Brushes shed, but it's just not the same quality. So, stay tuned for the next videos for essential eyeshadows. Bye. Now.